Capricorn, hello, welcome back and welcome into another reading. If you guys are new, welcome in. My name is Jazz and welcome to the channel. I love and appreciate you guys so much. Sit back, relax, take a chance, smash that like button or leave a comment down below. Just don't forget to make sure your little monkey butt is subscribed to the channel for more content and for more of me, Capricorn. We're going to get right into the messages here for you. Look at this. Eight of Cups with Judgment come in flying out. I know you guys are probably tired of hearing about the energy, but it's there, right? It's there heading towards happiness, leaving things behind that are no longer serving, taking the initiative to make sure that these things do happen. Judgment. This is a wake up call. This is the final call. This is the call. It's like you guys have made a decision. A lot of you are making final decisions here, final moves, final motives um, in, in certain aspects of your life here, Capricorn. And this is exactly what's happening. This is emotional uh, transgression into a new phase of your life here this is really nice so we're gonna shuffle up the tarot deck and then we're gonna go ahead and pull a couple oracle cards smash that like button or leave a comment down below Capricorn just don't forget to make sure your little monkey butt is subscribed to the channel for more content and for more of me all right Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. There's low vibrational energy that's going to be triggering you up into the final moment. And I want you guys to be aware of that. Allow yourself to follow your heart. Allow yourself to follow your soul. And allow yourself to be very open to what's new. Right? Open to what's new. Open to what is changing here in your life, Capricorn. All right? What's which trying to make its way in and what's trying to push its way out. Show us what we need to see for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter here. Spiritual gifts. So a lot of you are actually encount encountering new gifts, new uh, paths as it relates to your spiritual purpose, your spiritual gift here, Capricorn. And I want you to, to understand that your gifts your spiritual gifts everybody has something that's different and you know a lot of you are being triggered in your dreams so be very open to that mm. <sighs> evolution awakening and ascension um really unlocking these these um energies within yourself that are already there you're just unlocking them they're becoming more more present uh and more clear to you <laughs> autumn energy this is the energy of change and transition capricorn and you're going through this this period in your life that is you know it's about turning a new leaf right turning a new leaf show us more here for capricorn please spirit And then we have the energy of 4D. So there's it's it's a lot to do with the love, the empathy, the compassion, the heart chakra. Um, there's a change in how you go about, and I've I've said this uh, the past couple of readings. It's a change in how you go about love. And we see that with the inner child work, work self love, and then the Southern energy, which is about fire, passion, creativity, sexuality, um, procreation, things like that. It's, it's healing the parts of yourself where love may not have been given to you right or you weren't taught how to give yourself this love because you didn't have good examples of that growing up it's kind of relearning these things about yourself capricorn all right what do we need to see here please spirit for capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs, please. Okay. 
the lovers. So it looks like there is a romantic partnership or relationship that's coming into your life here. This is this could be a twin flame soulmate, but I like it's like divine counterpart, right? This is past life, right? It's giving past life vibes, past life energy, meaning that you guys have experienced each other in other lifetimes, right? This is the first time y'all are coming together in this lifetime, though. And I think that it's also important to recognize this is Gemini in energy, so you could be dealing with a Gemini, but this is somebody that's possibly in your community. Look at that. Knight of Cups and the Page of Cups. Yeah, you guys have a suitor that's coming in here for you. Bottom of the deck here is the sun. This is bringing in great happiness, love, joy, and compassion. I do feel like this person could be younger than you, especially with the knight and the page coming out here. The knight is somebody that's taking action and initiative here. So Capricorn, you could be coming into a connection where this person is really wanting something emotional, right? This person isn't thinking about the physical. This person is really emotional and we see that with the 4D energy. So this is somebody that has a lot of love to give um, and this is somebody that wants to pursue a loving relationship here. Again, this person could be younger than you. This is Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy as well as um, Capricorn Virgo Taurian with the Page of Cups and um, Aries Leo Sagittarius here. There is there is somebody who wants to make a move. I, I do feel like it is a masculine energy that's coming in. So depending on where you stand in the energy Capricorn, this could be you coming towards somebody or this could be somebody coming towards you. But there is, yeah, look at that, the sun. This is something that's going to bring you a great deal of happiness. This is Leo energy. So yeah, I, I feel like this is a relationship that's about to blossom or bloom into something very spectacular here. This is something and in a connection that goes beyond the physical, even though even though it is physical, it goes beyond the physical. I do feel like this person wants to have a family with you, wants to have some sort of a life with you. The Queen of Wands energy at the bottom of the deck, I do feel like this person is highly attracted to you. You're definitely, y'all are attracted to one another. I, I do feel like this person is more in their emotions um, with the Knight of Cups and the Page of Cups that's coming out. So there's 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 true feelings here. Um, you know, this person is really focused on the emotional aspect of the connection or of the relationship here, Capricorn. Show us more for Capricorn. Three of Cups. Yeah, this is some sort of... This person really wants like a family life, a home life coming together. There's there's this sense of like with the three of cups, there's one person in this three of cups and it's almost like this sense of celebration, this sense of coming together. You and this person may be introduced to one another. This person may want to go out and have fun with you with the three of cups. We do have the King of Swords at the bottom of the deck with the Nine of Swords and the Chariot. This person is consistently thinking about maybe coming towards you. Mm -hmm. The Eight of Cups coming towards you. This is this person heading towards you. I feel like you both are on the same page as it relates to transition. This is almost like an energy of attraction. You both are heading in a new direction and y'all are attracted to one another here bottom of the deck is the seven of cups it seems like there may be options or choices involved here there could also be like dreams or illusion but i feel like there's a sense of options or choices that's coming in and i feel like a part of this spiritual gift energy this this awakening this change you guys can feel this person coming towards you this is also you know your intuitive energy your psychic abilities and things like that with the Knight of Cups, Page of Cups. You're picking up on more messages. You guys are receiving more downloads from the divine. All right, 
let's clarify here a little bit, please, for Capricorn. Tell us about the lovers. Tell us about the... So we have the Eight of Cups. Ace, Ace of Cups, excuse me. The Ace of Cups. <coughs> excuse me, Capricorn. The Ace of Cups. This is an emotional outpour. An emotional outpour. This is a love that you both want. This is a love and an experience that two people really want to enjoy and experience and explore together. Capricorn, and this is something for you and them not to hold back. Yeah, you have the King of Wands with the Knight of Cups. This person is very confident within themselves. This person could be Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius here, not necessarily, um, but their main energy is this fire. So again, they could be younger than you. They could just be very confident. They could just, you know, be on the prowl um, a little bit. And, and I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean, like on the prowl for you, like this person has their eyes set on you. You know, they're, they're very intrigued by you and this person really wants to come in towards you this person has a lot of not only physical sexual and spiritual energy but emotional it's like they feel an emotional connection to you in a way that they haven't felt with anybody else and the magician with the page of cups coming out here there is this sense of you know almost manifesting this dreaming this into existence here utilizing you know their their spiritual energy their sexual energy and their empathic energy in order to make something make their dreams a reality here with you this person is very confident i wouldn't be too surprised if this was like somebody making a bold offer to you here bottom of the deck is the emperor followed by the star so again it's like seeing seeing a foundation from a new perspective and feeling this this faded energy between the two of you There's that Seven of Cups energy. There's the world. <sighs> I'm telling you, you guys. So the world with the sun. This is a blissful celebration coming together. It's like the two of you come together and things just make sense. Things just work out. You guys are creating a life together. You guys are creating a life of your own. Um there's a lot of joy there's a lot of bliss there's a sense of understanding we have the seven of cups and the three of cups leads us to the ten it's almost like you were this person's dream this person's fantasy and vice versa this is something that you guys both have wanted it feels really really good this is a feel-good energy right it's it's an energy of dreams of hope of of home of life right and coming together and spending time with one another and it's it feels good knight of swords with the eight of cups yeah i i do feel like this person is coming towards you and vice versa it's this energy of attraction and once you guys talk about this capricorn you guys will understand how connected the two of you really really are Bottom of the deck is the Seven of Swords, the Ten of Cups, and the Ten of Swords with the Ten of Pentacles. There's a lot of leaving old ways, old thinking behind. It's about self-improvement. It's about self-improvement. Let's close this out. Let's get a couple tea leaf oracles. Seek out information that will help you with the vine. one more here please 
the star guaranteed success capricorn i'm gonna leave this here for you i hope you found this insightful or that it resonated if it does go ahead and smash that like button or leave a comment down below just don't forget to make sure your little monkey butt is subscribed and i'll speak to you all very very soon